Welcome back to Fred Achando Analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Kindly subscribe to our channel if you are watching for the first time. I want to begin with one question. If you listened to the events that took place at Jacaranda today, with all the leaders who are speaking there, uh, weekly for Paranya, Eugene Wamalwa, Martha Karua, Kalonzo Musioka, Jeremiah Kioni, George uh, Lushiri Wajakoya. In light of the speeches that they gave, who do you think stood out? Who stood out for you? If that was a football match, who would have been given the man of the match? And from where the Kenya Kwanza team is seated, and they are doing a post-mortem of, of the Jacaranda rally. Whose speech do you think is giving them a lot of headache and sleepless nights? And I will give you the person who stood out for me with reasons. One, I expected a leader who was going to communicate to two groups of people. Number one was the supporters. Because when the supporters stood there, they left whatever they were doing to throw the Jacaranda grounds. They wanted to listen to their leaders. And so someone had to craft a message that relates, them, relates to them. My main concern was I wanted someone who was going to tell their supporters something beyond Ruto rigging the elections. Because your leader can decide to rig an election, but then when he gets to power, he starts working so well that people will, will say, okay, atakama liba, wacha tu tuendelee. So I wanted someone who wanted to remind the common monenchi that apart from the fact that William Ruto rigged the elections, he has refused to implement all the promises that he gave to Kenyans because as we speak, the cost of living is really skyrocketing very high. So I was looking for someone who's going to remind the supporters of that. I was also looking at someone who was going to pass either a direct message or a coded message to the Kenya Kwanzaa team. Because the reason why they were all there was because they claim that the Kenya Kwanzaa team rigged the election. So I wanted to see someone who had a, 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 a two-edged sword, one for their supporters, and the other side for the Kenya Kwanzaa team. And three, I was looking for someone who would be speaking with a lot of steadfastness and courage. One who would express and would speak with manifestation of courage and steadfast. Those are the things that I was looking at. And I picked Madam Mother Wangari Karua because she fulfilled all my expectations that I really wanted to see on that Jacaranda grounds. Wanda Oye! Wananchi Oye! Mimi nataka tukubaliane. Hii vita sio ya Raila Amolo Odi. Ni vita ya wa Kenya waliompigia kura. Uelewe hiyo kura yako ingekupatia unga kwa bei nafuu. Ujue ya kwamba mtoto wako kutoka hii Januari angekuwa anasoma bila fees. Uelewe kazi mtaani ingali iko ndivyo wewe upate chakula. Tulikuwa tumeangalia Hello? Tulikuwa tumeangalia kona zote na tulijua Kenya iko na pesa ya kuteremusha gharama ya, ma ya, ya maisha, bei ya unga, ya kulipia mtoto fees na pia ya matibabu. Swali kwa William Ruto, hii pesa yote sababu haijaenda kwa mwananchi imeenda kwa mfuko ya, ya nani? Ujue tusipofuatilia kura ya baba 
maisha yako ndiyo itaendelea kuzoroteka vita ni ya mwananchi na wale wanyakuzi wamenyakuwa kura za wananchi na kutumia vibaya imekuwa ni matusi ni kutoa matusi kwa viongozi na matusi kwa wakenya tutakubali utawala wa kimababu mmekubaliana na yale mama amesema ya kwamba William Ruto aende nyumbani mimi nasema nataka kusema hivi hata ukikaa kwako nyumbani hata uwe mtu wa aina gani siku yako ya kuingia dunia ni moja na ya kuondoka ni ngapi tuache uoga tuchukue haki yetu tunataka haki ya wakenya tumekubaliana ya mwisho ya mwisho ya mwisho hatutakubali vitisho vyako William Ruto wewe unaendelea na mikutano yako na ukisikia baba ako na mkutano unaanza kutoa hotuba nenda ukatoe hotuba kwa wafuasi wako baba hahitaji ushauri wako tunakubaliana kwa hivyo hapa tukate shauri moja peke yake ya kwamba Ruto must go Ruto must go Ruto must go Now must go Ruto must go Ruto must go tujikomboe sisi wa Kenya Now the message that Martha Karua gave to the supporters was very simple Right now people are taking the children to school and they don't have school fees they are buying the maize flour at a very high price yet uh, mother Karo is telling them that we had promised that we were going to take children to school free of charge from the cbc all the way to the university and we knew that there was money that was very sufficient to bring down the cost of living and that was a message that every kenyan wanted to listen to because apart from saying that we are going to rig the elections it is not enough we needed someone like Martha Karua who would remind them and the message was on point and the, the timing was very significant. At the time when people are taking the children to school and at the time when people are jobless, so that's why I nominate Martha Karua to be on top of that list. Now, the rally that was in Jakaranda really needed to be, because it had been hyped and we wanted to see how people are going to throw the, 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 the jacaranda grounds if i may ask do you think the rally was a success because i hear some people saying that it wasn't some people are even saying that you know people like joe are not there and therefore it was not successful that there were other leaders who were in mombasa but some people are saying that this was one of the mother of all the rallies that we've ever seen because jacaranda was full to the brim and they're giving reasons that all the zemi brigade were there including the jubilee party that uh, is almost disintegrating they say that the secretary general was there but we also needed someone who would pass a message to the kenekwanza team and martha karua manifested a lot of courage and she told william Ruto to vacate office i think this is one thing that the kenekwanza team were they really were looking for someone who would echo those words because Raila had said that they demand that the Kenyakwanza team would vacate office and not just a person who is speaking to, to kufurahisha wananchi or to massage their feelings no, someone who is very serious and you know when Martha Karua speaks she is that iron lady she is very serious Martha Karua started her politics way back during, during the Nyayo era when there was the pangs of persecution you could not go against the Nyayo policies at one point she walked out of Moy in a meeting and people thought now 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 this is gonna die so she's very tough 
she also needed to pass a message to the international community and that's why she was saying that we will make make sure that William Ruto is out of that office because William Ruto and the international community are the same thing they placed him there so Martha Karo wanted them to feel and, and hear that message Raino Dinga had said that we are, they are giving the international community just two weeks to come and open the servers failure to which they will now take matters in their own hands if you ask me, Martha compliments Raila Odinga. She is the right deputy leader. And this could be a meeting that was uh, being used to select those courageous leaders who can remain with the party in case Raila decides even to retire today. Because if you look at the structure of Azimio, the topmost leadership is Raila Odinga, Martha Karua, Kalonzo Musioka and of course people like Jeremiah Kennedy, all those who stood there to speak. But we, the, there's a new supporters needed to see who is the most courageous of them. Because playing like what they are now doing, they are playing an opposition card. And when you are an opposition or you are an opposition leader, you are dealing with a government that has got the sword and has got the, 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 the military and everything. It needs someone who is very courageous, who can stand in the face of intimidation and tell off when things are not right. And as a me, you really needed someone who can lead from the front. And if you looked at all the leaders, Martha Karwal looks... Or seems to be that leader who can lead from the front as people follow. And so I don't know whether you will agree or disagree with me, but Martha Karua stood out for me. And her message is one that is going to cause sleepless nights even to the, to the Kenyakwaza team. Because she said, and that was, those were her parting shots, that Ujue ya kwamba, wherever you are, siku yako ya kuja dunani likuwa siku moja, that you were born once and you will vanish just once and she was encouraging them not to be cowards you see at this point when the, the supporters are charging to go to state house and vacate William Ruto and they are really mad such words are really meant to charge the crowd and I'm telling you, if she had said that now to talk after to Nahenda status, Wangaenda. So that is the reason why I'm telling you that her speech was turning to me and I give her the person of the match that was played in Jakaranda. I don't know what you think.